Welcome back. This is Y254 and our topic of discussion is personal development. That is in case you're just joining us. And yeah, now to my next question, Angela, how do you understand your identity and how, if, how, how do you develop it? Well, there are many ways of developing yourself. And uh, the first one is uh, being aware that you need it. And when you are aware that you need it, you need to go back to the basics of life. Basics of life are how you were brought up. If you were brought up in a church, you need to just look at the things that you were taught when you were young mm -hmm. and try to embrace those things. Because uh, most of the times uh, we, we kind of ignore uh, or maybe not ignore, but we put them aside, the things that we were taught that were meaningful in our lives, and we try to to poison ourselves with whatever now the society is pushing us to. Mm -hmm. So you need to, to, to look at it like an individual and see what it is that you can do to change your life. And uh, it, it, it's all about changing behaviors and having the right attitudes. So once you discover that, you can you can now start working on yourself, yeah. but, uh, having the positive right, uh, the right positive attitudes and uh, the right behaviors that will lead you now to achieving what you want. Yeah, well, and now maybe as we talk on that, I understand you, you, you hold a lot of training and mentorships on personal development. Yes. Uh, and what are some <coughs> of the challenges that you personally faced and, uh, fr uh, uh, and what are the situations or experiences you have had from people? Uh, who really want to uh, improve themselves? Some of these challenges are financial because m some of the uh, coaches we have in Kenya are a bit uh, unaffordable to, to many. But uh, if you want to develop yourself, you must have a budget for it. You must have uh, a way of working towards it. Mm -hmm. So it's like learning, going to school to get a skill you have to pay for it of course yes. but if you're not able to then i think uh, uh, there are ways of working towards those things there are so many forums that are open for free and even online that you can learn mm -hmm. if you cannot access internet i think that you can talk to someone who is of a higher level than you a mentor and mentors really work so uh, so well and they, they they help us move to the next level and everyone should have a mentor so I once was watching an uh, opera, and mm -hmm. she said that she she has four mentors. And I asked myself, if I if me Angela, <laughs> I have maybe one mentor, and Oprah has four. With yeah. what she has achieved, what am I doing with my life, really? Yeah. So we need to embrace the fact that we need mem mentors. We look up to others who can help because people are out there to help others, and we just need to be open and get out and go and get them because mm -hmm. they will help. Yeah. Okay, so let's get to uh, Yvonne a bit. About um, what difference does it make in a person's life? Let's say, uh, no, first shine light on importances of self-development and how will it help me if I decide to take on the, you know, to take on help uh, improving myself as opposed if I just decide to stay like that? First of all, knowledge of personal development is very key. Because immediately you know about personal development, like there is need for your personal development, yes. you'll actually grow. One, because you'll understand yourself. You'll be able to know that what can make you sad, what can make you happy, mm -hmm. how are you able to relate to the people. You see, you've understood yourself yes. and what you want. So you are in a position like to know what is it that I want. And immediately you are, you are conscious about personal development, you'll be in a position to relate with people, you'll be in a position to follow your goals, to define your values, and you'll understand yourself more. Because like, there is nothing you do that can prosper without you understanding yourself. Yes, you true. have to understand yourself first for you to be in a position to know that when I do this thing, it is going to lead to negative consequences. When I do this, it is going to have some positive consequences. So first you have to understand yourself. Have a, converse, a private conversation with yourself. Talk to yourself. It's not necessarily talking to any other person, but then the first conversation is talking to yourself. Then as she's just put it, that have mentors. When you have mentors, like those, uh, those, those are the only people that you'll approach without th that are priceless. You'll not pay them anything because when you have mentors, they are usually priceless. And the only reward that you can give them, or the price that you'll give them, or any money that you'll give them, is only by your success. If you succeed, your mentors will be very happy, and I'm sure if you succeed, everybody will be happy. So. 
the first step is understanding yourself. And that understanding yourself is it is what it is the, the now the journey you are starting of personal development. Immediately you start the journey of personal development. That is how you're going to identify your values, you're going to define your purpose, you'll know your purpose and you'll pursue your purpose. And it, it will lead to it will actually lead to your success in life. Yes, because exactly. you'll not have a lot of challenges. When you have challenges, you'll know how to tackle them because challenges are, are inevitable. Yes. They'll always come. But then when you, you are you are cautious about yourself and you know yourself and you understand yourself very well. So you be in a position to tackle all the all the challenges that will come forth yeah, as well as minimizing your weaknesses exactly well uh, talking about validation and acceptance by family and society do you think uh, as we groom our, our young kids maybe our uh, the young daughters do you think as parents uh, parents do enough to to help on this to about to help on this topic on self-development that is maybe you have a girl do you tell uh, uh, what do you think the impact is uh, I I don't think uh, uh, the current parent is doing what is uh, what they're supposed to be doing. Which uh, is uh, teaching your child to know who they are and their value and their space in the in the society and what they're su how they're supposed to treat each other, how they're supposed to react to issues. Mm -hmm. So it comes from us as parents, not just the teachers. And most of the times we leave it uh, to the teachers, yes. which is not good. And uh, because th the child will trust the parent first before they can trust anyone else. So I th I think. Uh, Currently, what we have, our parents, our current parents are not really doing as much as they're supposed to, to be doing. Yeah. Maybe uh, as time goes by, people, as we speak about it more and more, people are going to embrace it and work on it because okay. it's, it's very important from yeah. the young age. Well, so I can imagine, well, what are some of the things that parents can do? Like, I, I imagine uh, a friend told me, like, it's important to always tell your girl child that they're beautiful and to remind them over and over. It's important to approve their, uh, their ideas even if, you know, to, to just uh, give uh, confidence in that. So, yeah, talk about that. Uh, the bigger percentage of what the children learn is by watching us, by what they see mm -hmm. from us. Yeah. And the smaller percentage is what they t we tell them. So we need to lead by example, mm -hmm. by, by even showing them who we are and, and, and showing them what we are, we are achieving by knowing who we are. Yes. And... They need, we need also to encourage them to learn their, their skills, to discover them, uh, be close to your children and learn and, uh, and know who they are yeah. before they even grow and even go to the teachers. So it's our responsibility to, to train them. Yes. Yeah. So Yvonne, uh, you are a student leader and I'm sure you've had a chance of interacting with very many people. What would you say is their state in terms of, you know, uh, uh, or how is it seen? You know, how, how, do you, how can you tell that this one is confident? How, how is it seen? Actually, you see, this one, I, ca I think I can drive it through. I can use dressing mode. Yes. Like, you see, we ladies, dressing really speaks a lot about us. When you see a lady in heels and very high heels and is very confident about herself, like, you see, this lady has already identified herself. She's comfortable in the hills, but then you find another one. She's comfortable in flat shoes. You see, yeah. she's very comfortable in flat shoes. So immediately you identify yourself. That person, sometimes myself, I wear high heels. And then there are others that approach me and tell me I'll never put on high heels. Then I'm like, why? Then somebody else tells them, they tell me that, you know, high heels, you guys talk about high heels and you talk about confidence, then you're like this because high heels gives you confidence. Then I'm like, no, that is not the way to go. Because high heels adds on your confidence. When you've already identified yourself, you are in a position to do the high heels. But then there is no problem with you doing the low shoes because they, they are what gives you your, your worth. Yes. They are what you are, like you've identified yourself with those flat shoes, so you are comfortable in them. Yes. So you don't have to fix yourself with the heels when you know you'll not be comfortable in it. Yeah. But then when somebody is confident, they're in a position to speak out. Whenever they see a problem, they'll not go like they want to like go uh, they they'll actually speak about the mistake whenever you find me and you know this is wrong you'll just tell me this is wrong and yes. if this is right this is right that is the definition of somebody who is confident and who has identified herself because they'll not keep quiet and watch they'll be on the watch out and tell you this is wrong and this is right and they'll always speak out yes and i imagine that also helps minimize peer pressure and influence from from uh from their other mates 
Yeah, because somebody who does not speak, that is now the birth of depression. Yeah. You see, those people who don't speak up, they're not in a position to tell us when they have a problem. Yeah, and that true. somebody dies truly, you start dying slowly inside. Yeah, that is the true, birth of depression. True. Well, now, Yvonne, on that, you can also give us your final thoughts on this topic as we wind up. About personal development, I actually recommend people to surround themselves with mentors. You can have as many mentors as possible based on the fact that to go for the transformational classes, they are very expensive. Now, the only way you can approach this, this, the personal development way is surrounding yourself with mentors because mentors are priceless. You'll not, they'll not ask you for even a single coin. Yes. They are priceless. And the only reward that they want is seeing you having tremendous success. Whenever you succeed, the mentors, you've already paid your mentors. Mm -hmm. So let's surround ourselves with mentors and you will actually find yourself like you've already grown. You are personally developed. You are strong. You are confident. You, are, you have strong self-esteem. You'll be in a position to speak out and watch out and be on the lookout. Well, thank you so much, Yvonne. Angela, your final comments as we wind up for comments, thoughts. Yeah. Um, I want to leave you with... Uh, with uh, something that I read somewhere that said uh, many people die at 25 and they are buried at 70. And this is because after 25, that is after maybe college or university, they stop learning themselves, they, st they, stop, they stop improving themselves. And, and we need to keep on improving ourselves. You get a job and you settle, but you need to keep on learning your environment, you keep on uh, learning who you are, learning because you keep on changing as times keep on changing, as you keep on aging. So you have to take the initiative to keep on learning yourself and learning your environment in, in, and putting in more info about yourself. That is yes. all um, self-awareness, oh, I mean uh, personal development is, is all about. Mm -hmm. It doesn't stop at a certain age, neither does it start at a certain, at a certain age. It is a lifelong process yeah, that we all have to embrace. Yeah. Doing it every day. Yeah. So, well, thank you so much for that. And with that, we will have to wind up. We would have wanted to continue with the discussion for a whole hour, but time is not on our side. So in case you missed this discussion or you would like to visit it, just go to our YouTube page that is at Y254 channel. You will find this and much more for you. So with that, it's bye-bye from us and keep tuning in to Y254 for more amazing and youthful vibes. Bye. Thank you.